Okay, so this morning we are wiring up our headlights and taillights. We have a little DC generator. We're going to come off of here, this bracket right here. Let's fashion a new bracket. And this is going to hang out in this orientation right here. Uh, this little black wheel up here needs to ride along the sidewall of the tire, not the rim. Um, and it's got a little knurled wheel on it that spins the generator. That's what's going to power these little 6 volt LED uh, headlights and taillights uh, as the wheels spin. What I'm using here is 22 gauge speaker wire. Um, now since normally these headlights uh, ground out to either the metal or the aluminum frame of the bike, I don't have that here because obviously got a PVC frame. So I need to use the black wire as my ground and the red wire I'm just connecting to the lead uh, here that comes attached to the lamp. I'm going to crimp a uh, fork connector onto this and ground it out onto the lamp and then I'm going to run over to the back of the generator. So my positive lead will come here and I will run a ground wire um, onto the aluminum bracket that I'm going to make. So I'll run it right to that nut there. Uh, so the system will be grounded and I got a complete circuit. Okay, so now we have our generator wheel up against the tire. We've got our ground wire, our hot wire, everything wired back. I got some electrical tape on there to keep the water out. Got our ground attached to here and this trails all the way back to the tail lights. Uh, which is also grounded. So I'm using the red as the hot and the black as the, as the neutral. Um, gonna attach another zip cord to hold my cable in place, get a little strain relief, and we should be good. And I'll probably put a strain relief uh, here as well just to make sure that uh, nothing comes off. Okay, so we've got our brake light mounted with our switch activated. Turn signals as well as headlight and tail light and if I hit the brake you get extra LEDs. Uh, so that's all working and plugged in. So I'm going to button that up. Now the important thing to remember depending on the kind you get is this little micro switch here. What I did is I connected this to the back side of this compression so when I squeeze my brake cable, the brake lights come on. That's pretty much all set up. And our headlights and everything are wired. What I'm going to do is I am going to elevate the speedometer a bit for a little bit better visibility from the driver's seat. Right now I can't really see it. I want to make sure I got that in place. Um, my pedals are all working good. And um, what I am going to do is I'm going to add a couple extra screws into the ends of these so that this wood here doesn't spin. Uh, it's not really a problem, but just to be on the safe side, I'd rather not have it spin because it might snap on me. Uh, other than that, we are good to go. We have the official bicycle license on the back in a visible area, so if anybody questions, our taillights are on, all set to go. We got our seats all adjustable and everything else. I'm going to finish dressing up these final wires here. And then we will take a first spin. All right, we are all set to ride in the first official bike parade at Bay Village Bay Days in 2013 at Cahoon Memorial Park. And driving today is going to be my son, Parker. And uh, have a good start. Yeah. All right. Here they go. Bye, guys. All right. Bubbles. I think they're bubbles. Great, though. <laughs>